Alrighty, so we flew the drone today. There's a bit to go over. Um, as you can tell, it is a ghost town up here in Canada. That's one of our most major highways in the country, and it's literally normally packed with cars, and yeah. But nonetheless, um, pieces for the actual mountain for Mountain Bay Cliffs have arrived. It's that tiny little shipment down there. They are pre-built, um, so I actually, I don't even think they're going to build a mountain. It looks like they're going to build like what you would describe as a Hollywood set. Um, so in the front, it'll look like a mountain and then behind it'll literally look like, you know, the wood structure or metal structure that just holds it in place. Um, so yeah, that look, that's what it looks like. Um, and Mountain Bay Cliffs, Mountain Bay Cliffs is off to a start. I do have to, I have information. So well, not information. I have an assumption again. So this is take this with a grain of salt, but the new kids ride, the flat ride that's coming is being made in Italy and there could be a possible delay of it being shipped over here. So there may not even be a flat ride if Wonderland opens um, for the season. I know that it is most likely done construction in terms of the themed area around it and the ride's probably missing. And then, wow, look, a white building. So there's now this white storage looking building in the what used to be kind of like a storage lot that Wonderland's been forced to use because there's just such high demand for Winterfest storage and all that. And so little buildings to store it in. So they've been using this parking lot for new ride parts ever since Yukon was being built and then rides leaving. Um, this would be my assumption, uh, a parade float storage building. So I'm assuming year two, just like Carolyn's, we are going to see a parade at Canada's Wonderland. I don't know how they're going to do it. There's pathways are so little. Um, it's actually a lot larger than the other park storage buildings. So that would make sense um, for the parade float. So uh, they'll probably be housing some parade floats in there for Winterfest year two. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of construction, there's nothing to keep an eye on. Wild Beast has definitely uh, had some retracking done to it. Mindbuster has had zero. There is no signs of paint. Um, I am going to have to um, look at the footage a little closer, but I am seeing signs of something on Behemoth. So I'll update you guys as soon as I know that for sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Bye!